My name is Monica Molinaro, and I'm the incoming Banting Postdoctoral Fellow in the Department of Family Medicine and Faculty of Health Sciences at McMaster University. My research intends to examine both provider and patient experiences of health inequity in primary care and understand how both providers and patients or individuals accessing healthcare navigate the entwinement of social and medical needs. In the past year, the COVID-19 pandemic has really highlighted the relationship between health outcomes and social inequity that are experienced by many Canadians. At the same time, there's been an increased attention to the daily challenges of healthcare providers, particularly their experiences of moral distress and their mental well-being. So keeping these things in mind, there's two research questions ultimately that are guiding my postdoctoral research. The first research question is how do primary care providers narrate their experiences of providing care to patients affected by health needs related to social inequities? And the second research question is how do individuals with identified health needs relating to social inequity narrate their experiences of navigating healthcare? To answer these research questions and guide the conduct of the study, I plan on using a narrative methodology, which focuses on stories that are told in research interviews as the data collected for this research. What's great about using a narrative methodology is that storytelling can really highlight the complexities and ambiguities that characterize really complex experiences like these ones, and they also have persuasive value in policy contexts where decision makers are tasked with making sense of multiple and sometimes conflicting forms of evidence. So my hope is that this research will bring a greater understanding of the stories of individuals experiencing health inequities, producing Canadian policy and clinically relevant knowledge to ultimately improve the health outcomes of patients, as well as the professional lives of these primary care providers.